I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw animal camouflage a butterfly branch. I'm going to take two fingers way over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be drawing butterfly shapes with a lot of overlaps. So I'm going to start right here at my dot and I go curve line in, curve line up, curve line down, big curve line over, and connect. Right here at this point, I do a curve line down, up, down, up, connect. Come right next to it. Let's just have it hook right on. We're going to draw a curve line up, down, out, in. Big curve line over, connect. Curve line out, in. Curve line down, up, connect. Starting, let's start, put a dot there. Let's draw a curve line up, in, out, in, curve line down, up, curve line down, bam, it crashes into that, that's okay. Here's the overlap, you put the curve line and connect. Let's do one more, let's put a dot here. And we're going to draw a curve line out. Bam, it crashes into that. Continue your curve line. Bring it down. Out. Curve line up. Come back to the top. Curve line out. In. Out. In. Connect. Coming right down, straight down below. Let's put a dot. And we're going to draw a curve line up, and bam, it crashes into that. Okay, give it a little space. Curve line in, down, up. Come up on top, curve line up. Bam, it crashes into that. Jump over, curve line out, in, connect. Let's just do one curve line out, in, out, in, down, up. Curve line down. Bam, connect. <clears throat> okay, come all the way over here and let's put a dot. And now we're going to draw a curve line up, crashes into there, down, out, in, down, up, out, up, connect. All right. Now, at some point, like right here, we're just going to draw a straight line, spiral. Let's put straight line spiral, straight line spiral, straight line spiral, straight line spiral. I think we can fit here straight line spiral. Now I didn't do a bunch of spirals, I just did some to give us the illusion. Now starting back over here, I'm just going to draw a curve line out, wavy line down, up, connect. Come down to this one, wavy line out, up, connect. Come over here, we're going to go wavy line out, up, connect. Wavy line out, up, connect. Curve line, wavy line up, off the page. Let's do curve line down, wavy line up, off the page. And let's do curve line, wavy line, way over here off the page. All right. Now you're going to come back in and you're going to draw a curve line, connect. Curve line, connect. Curve line, connect. Curve line, connect. Now at this point, curve line, connect. Curve line, connect. You could make your own design for your wings. This is the easiest one I could figure out. Curve line, connect, 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 
curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect, curve line connect. Okay. This look is kind of busy, and that's good because these are butterflies in camouflage. All right, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, so that I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take my regular green, and I'm going to color in all of the spaces that my animals are camouflaged in too. So I'm going to color all of these spaces green. And it really helps so that you can see as the artist what part is butterfly, what part is foliage, and it'll help you work your way through your design. Now, the other thing is, pretty much everybody is going to have a different look because we all draw differently. We all have our different overlaps and sizes of everything. But if you see a closed space, like this is right here, this is right here, this is right here, these are all spaces that should be colored green and that's so that your animal is encased in vegetation which is really what this is supposed to look like bring your green down over up now the other important thing is you being the artist can change all the colors that we're going to use on this totally up to you all right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in, using my orange, all of these spaces. And these are all going to be the same color because you want it to look as though there is a bunch of the same type of butterfly, insect, animal, all grouped together, hiding out being camouflaged in a tree or some kind of vegetation. So I'm going to do all of these orange. But like I said before, you can change that color motif. It's up to you. And you can also add more animals if you want, more insects, more butterflies. More leaves, more vegetation, that's your choice. Then I am using yellow for the outside part. And this was an easy choice to make. I was a little paranoid if I chose a brighter color, my uh, butterflies wouldn't look like they were camouflaged. I was afraid if I chose a darker color, the same thing might happen. So I played it safe, I chose yellow, but some of you might want to experiment with different color combinations and that is a-okay. That is fine. This is a fun project to do, really to kind of play with color, to see which ones do hide provide the best camouflage. I had another one that I thought would have been good, but once I started it, I thought, no, it's spring. Let's do something light. So I did this. Okay. Then, of course, because this is my art, I got my blue-green that's not quite fat enough. And I did blue-green stripes in the back. You might want to color this all in. I 
I used this just so it wouldn't look so white. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my animal camouflage butterflies all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.